Shipping steel hasn't been profitable for Bluescope. The big steelmaker posted a billion dollar loss for the second year in a row as it continues to battle slow demand and a high dollar. But the company is optimistic, pinning its hopes on a recovery in the housing market. Tracy Kirkland reports. There were no real surprises at today's announcement, just the confirmation of a $1.04 billion loss for Australia's largest steelmaker. That's slightly down on last year's loss. Some analysts, however, were expecting a little bit more. We thought today's result was a little bit below our expectations, just uh, given Bluescope's exporting more steel at the moment because the domestic market is soft. The company has been hit hard by weak demand, high raw material prices and the high Australian dollar. Facing mounting debt, the last 12 months saw some major restructuring which cut hard into their bottom line. More than a thousand jobs went in Australia, facilities at Port Kembla were closed down and its export business was dumped. Then last week it announced a joint venture with Japan's Nippon Steel which is set to raise more than $500,000. They pulled themselves back from the brink with the deal that they did last week. I mean, 500 odd million dollars is a huge kick and cleaning up the balance sheet was no mean feat at all. They've at least given themselves a shot. This announcement that they made last week uh, will reduce their debt position significantly and potentially enable them to start investing in other parts of their business. And that's exactly what they plan to do. Once the Nippon deal is closed next March, the company has indicated it will consider investing further in its US operations with the hope of significantly boosting output. Firstly, there's the incremental uh, aim of increasing our slab thickness, which might add 20 to 40,000 tonnes a year. But we have two specific projects. One is a caster expansion and one is a DRI expansion. With the caster expansion, we could certainly increase our capacity by 20% if we undertook that project. It's also cautiously optimistic about the Australian housing sector, saying leading indicators were showing signs of recovery in both residential and non-residential construction by early next year. If we can see some decent domestic demand, an exchange rate that's not too challenging, um, I expect that you know, sometime during this fiscal year we will have um, been able to report a very dramatic turnaround in our, a positive turnaround in our fortunes. We think that they have restructured the business significantly to be able to deliver a cash break even result. Uh, however, I think that uh, if the Australian market rebounds, then that'll be very positive for their profitability. While conditions within the global steel industry remain tough for the foreseeable future, Blue Scope has promised all major restructuring is behind them. They say it's now down to persistence and patience, and with no final dividend, something shareholders know all about.